Good morning guys. Like, do you ever get angry with yourself for being awake when you really don't want to be? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Like, I really wish I was still asleep in bed, but my body's just gotten so used to waking up at 5 o'clock that I am awake. But that's okay because I have tons of stuff to do. I got t-shirts to make. I got videos to edit. I mean, I just have a lot to do. So I will use this time, but still, I'd rather be asleep. Okay, guys, I have finished making most of my shirts. There's still more to make, but they came out so well and I should be shipping them hopefully today or tomorrow. I'm so excited to get them out. They look so amazing. Thank you to everyone that's bought a shirt. If you want to buy a shirt, don't forget you can go to www.watchautumnketo.com, click on the swag store, and check out the stuff that I have. But now for the next few minutes, I'm going to sit down and do something that I have not done in a long time, which is actually make a meal plan. I'm going to use my Excel spreadsheet to make a meal plan. Now, I already know that I'm eating taco tray for lunch this week, but like, that's about it. Like, I need to determine the size of the portions, what sort of snacks I can have, etc. Because guys, in case you didn't know, I got married last week and I spent the whole last week losing my married mind, eating whatever I wanted to, mainly Costco cake, and it was delicious. But that time is over and I am back on track and I'm back to basics. If you follow me over on my other channel, Watch Autumn, you know that I've decided that like no more challenges, no more extreme things, no more carnivore, no more crazy things, just back to basics. 20 net carbs a day. That's keto, you guys. Hate to break it to you. Like, it's not this crazy, weird, you know, how many organ meats and other things can we eat? Like, it's just eating under 20 net carbs. And maybe that's why I've been struggling so much is because I've just gotten so far away from that. But I'll tell you this, I have no travel coming up. I have no special events planned. I have nothing that is going to keep me from eating keto for the foreseeable future, okay? And that is my commitment. I was talking to Joyce, one of my patrons yesterday. She just reminded me of something so profound. I don't even think she realized, but she was talking about how when she first wanted to start keto, she Googled keto and my video came up. My four tips for success on the keto diet video came up, which first of all is mind blowing when you type it into Google. But secondly, she said the tip that resonated with her the most was the just go 90 straight days with no cheats. And I remember that video and I remember talking about how I went 90 days through Thanksgiving, through Christmas, all on plan and how strong I felt and how good I felt. And I was like, I probably haven't gone 90 straight days keto since that video. Like, and that's a gall darn shame, you know? I'm committed to doing that, like even more than 90 days. It's not a challenge. It's not like 90 days and then I can go off. It's just eat keto for as many days in a row as possible. There's just no reason not to. So I'm gonna make my taco tray meal plan, but before I make my taco tray meal plan, I gotta have my Zip Fizz. I also need to get a new bottle. I mean, like literally this is just a plain shaker bottle at this point, cause I've used it so much. Okay, and today I have grape. You guys, I didn't even roulette this. I purposely chose grape. Oh, you can't see it cause my shirt. Because we're getting low on Zip Fizz, but I noticed that there was a disproportional amount of grape left. And like, I like to try to keep it as even as possible. So I was like, I'm going to take a grape for the team today so that we can kind of keep it even. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. Give me the old sit and shake. Just because you're sitting down, don't mean you can't get funky. Mm -hmm getting back to basics and back to everyday life. Also to being married and it being absolutely amazing. I've only been in it for a week, but still we made it a week. Ah. Oh, ooh, ooh, it's not that bad. Ooh. That is okay. Mm. Milton, sit, sit, Milton, sit, Mil mm. Milton, sit, Milton, be a good boy. You are not being a good boy. Hi, matey. You want to be a good girl? Madeline, sit. Well, damn. Milton, sit. Good boy. That took way too long. Okay, guys. I am woman enough to admit when I am wrong. And I was wrong, you guys. Like, for the longest time, I always said, look, 
I don't care how healthy apple cider vinegar is for you, I'm not drinking it. I can't drink it. It's disgusting. It makes me want to throw up. And everyone's like, oh, just put some lemon juice with it. Oh, just put some sparkling water. Oh, it actually tastes good. And I'm like, you're a liar because it will never taste good. But you know what? I just wanted to give it one more go and I was like, I know that this is good for me and I want to do things that are good for me, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to get the little nasty, bitter, sparkling water, huh? I'm going to use the ACV. I'm going to use a little water enhancer mix in, okay? And it's going to be nasty and I'm going to be right. Well, guess what? I was wrong. And I'm really glad that I was wrong too because now I get to drink apple cider vinegar. In addition to that, I've also become a person that drinks LaCroix. La what? Look at this brown sludgy goodness right here. Like, I know it's healthy for me, uh, but I don't like it. Either way, I'm gonna give it a good shake, 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 shake. I am going to pour about a dollop. That's, that's how much you're supposed to use a dollop. And there it is, woo, woo. Oh, the smell, oh God, I have to cover it back up, oh God. And as of right now, I'm using this Mio Lemonade Water Enhancer, but eventually, I want to get to the stir because this uses sucralose and this just uses stevia. So I'm just going to take a little squirt of the Mio Lemonade. Pour my LaCroix. Oh yeah, and this one's lime. I think my 24 pack comes with like lemonade and pomegranate and all sorts of stuff. Looks like pee pee, you guys. Looks like pee pee. But I'm going to drink it. what oh it's I mean it's amazing it actually kind of tastes good and I didn't even really want to say that but it's true I'm just so happy that I get to enjoy apple cider vinegar and so now I urge you if you're one of those people that was like I can never enjoy it it's gross I'm telling you get you some sparkling water get you a water enhancer mix in preferably like lemon flavored and then just a tablespoon of ACV like it'll change your life Good morning, Melissa. Shell says two tablespoons per serving. My serving is 16 ounce water, um, but best is LaCroix. Absolutely. Uh, Shonda says, uh, good morning at home social distancing with uh, my six and seven year olds. Oh, good luck to you. Me and my mom were talking about like, why were we having so much success before and we just can't seem to have the success now? Like, why is it so difficult? And I was like, you know why I was so successful on the keto diet when I first started? Cause they actually followed the keto diet, huh? I mean, I just served myself. Like, I was just like, wow. I, it's just time to be honest and be like, mm, if you're cheating once a month or like once every other week or just like using any excuse for a chance to be like, oh, girls night, I'll just cheat, you know? Like, that is just not sticking to the diet. And you won't have long-term success if you're not actually doing the long-term activities. Starting off my eating day with cello wisps. I forgot to tell you guys, I've been fasted for like the past couple of days. And so I am 61 hours fasted. Oh, I nailed that. But I'm about to break it with these cello wisps. So I'm gonna have these snacks now and then I'm going to cook up a bunch of taco meat for my taco tray. And then I have almonds, which I'm really excited about. I haven't had those in a very long time, ever since that horrible stint with carnivore that I, that I attempted a couple weeks ago. But I'm gonna enjoy these and then work until lunchtime. Okay guys, it is lunchtime and I am just browning up three pounds of ground beef and then this is my homemade taco seasoning you can find the recipe for it right there um i've just really been loving taco trays like and i don't know when i'm gonna get the desire to switch it up but one of these days i will but in the meantime i'm just having ground beef on top of lettuce with some quest chips and a whole bunch of other sauces and cheeses and sour creams and everything and like hashtag no complaints so i'm gonna brown this up and then i will show you what the assembled taco tray looks like. And then it's lunchtime. And there we have it. We have a delicious literal tray of taco. So we have a bed of lettuce and then we have about a half pound of ground beef with some shredded cheese, sour cream. I got a package of Quest chips right there. And then covered in an assortment of sauces, we have Taco Bell Baja sauce. We have Taco Bell Diablo sauce, cause you know I like it hot. And we have Tapatio just to round it out. I am going to watch some TV and enjoy this taco tray.
Okay, let me frame you right. Uh -huh. You don't even know how I want to be framed. Uh, I you know how to frame me right. Well, because I don't know how to frame. Well, you are so close. Uh, that's because I love you. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, I am done with Taco Tray. It was amazing. What was not amazing was that episode of God Friend and Me. Like, you guys, this show, just so many plot holes. But every week, here we are. Like, What's the God account going to do now? Like, it's a horrible show. Don't watch it. I'll be tuning in next week. Oh, but I'm finishing off my day with this. I don't really know if I want to call it a bulletproof coffee because it only, it's basically coffee with collagen and heavy whipping cream. Like, there is no butter or other fat source. So this is basically just one cup of chocolate almond milk, about one cup of coffee, and then I actually have a scoop of that preferred keto chocolate collagen powder. I'd actually like to shout out Preferred Keto. They're the sponsor for today's video. And this chocolate collagen is actually a new formula. Can you get in there? You see that? You guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I actually used some of an old formula and then I opened this one to combine them together. And this one is just so much darker and more like rich and chocolatey looking. It's a lot smoother and blends into the coffee a lot better. Like I am definitely a fan. And I'm happy to have this as part of my coffee every day. If you want to try it out yourself, you can go to Preferred Keto's website and use my code WAC10 for 10% off. I'll put a link down in the description below. I also hear that they have a new vanilla formula as well. You can go holler at my friend uh, High Fat High Fun, aka AD Keto, aka A Dad Keto, aka Aaron for that. He likes that vanilla, but for me, it's all about the chocolate. Ooh, just like the person I got behind the camera, all about the chocolate. Ooh. He knows he likes it. Okay guys, so I got meetings for the rest of the day. I am going to enjoy my coffee, close my eating window. This is like my second big glass of water, so I'm excited about that. I'm drinking some water today. Uh, and if I decide to have any jello or soda or anything like that, I'll be sure to let you know. Here I am, Ooh. observing my husband. Oh my God. Not eating keto, oh what are God. those? What are those? You got chip crust all over your face. It's You're not written to see that. all over your face. You're not to see that. The truth comes out. I gotta get rid of all these wedding stuff. You gotta get rid of all the wedding mm -hmm. food, and the only way to do that is to stuff it in your face. Mm -hmm. Well, see what I do is now I'm just over exercise. Oh, so now you're just gonna over exercise. Like, when's the last time you exercised at all? Last weekend, didn't we? Didn't we? No. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to go with me on this. <laughs> Babe, a real wife will expose you, okay? She'll oh hold you God. accountable, okay? She's not a yes woman, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna make you better whether you want me to or not. Well, I appreciate that. Okay, guys, so it's after eight o'clock. I have not eaten or drinking anything. Drinking? <laughs> anything after the coffee. I had some water. I might sit down and relax with some diet soda. It is too also left over from the wedding, so mm -hmm. Something's got to be done about that. I guess I have to drink it since it's here. So I might just have a little bit of diet soda. But to be honest, I'm feeling great. So I'm going to call it a day. I loved being on plan. I love taco tray. It was amazing. But that's it. I'm having taco tray all day, every day this week. And maybe I want to make something different next week. Maybe I won't. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to chill at home with my husband. Okay, and I'll catch you guys next week. Bye.